So, something the writers have been foreshadowing from the very beginning of Force is the return of Kay Egan, which we finally saw in Episode 8, and this is the first time we've seen her since Season 6, Episode 13, where Tommy and Kate didn't exactly leave on the best of terms. You are not the son I raised! Ma! Ma! Ma, I'm your own flesh and blood! You can go to hell! Or California. Same thing. But the history and hair for both of them goes even deeper. Now for Kay, it was about the death of Jamie, because she always loved him more than Tommy, and this is one of the many reasons why Tommy doesn't want anything to do with Kay. But on top, he uncovered a lot of family secrets in Chicago, from JP being his brother, Miriam Egan being alive, and as he learned in episode 8, D-Mac is his nephew. So with that being said, let's run through a brief history of everything we know so far, which was always building up to JP reaching out to Kate and a conversation that will no doubt lead to a big family reunion, which will reveal a lot of history and secrets. But in episode 1, Tommy realised that Kate had been lying to him his whole life about Grandma Miriam Egan being dead, and the lies were no surprise to Tommy, but his grandma being alive definitely was, and even more so that he had a brother who was JP. But unfortunately for both of them, the one person that they could talk to and possibly have could have given them some answers, she suffered a stroke or aneurysm, and she couldn't talk. But the conversation between JP and Tommy raised one question that needs to be answered when Kate does return. There are any more of us? I don't think so. But who the fuck knows with her? And we'll get to all the questions that Tommy and JP need answering in just a moment. But with everything still being fresh with Ghost's death, a broken St. Patrick family, and Lakeisha's death, there was a big hole in his life which JP somewhat managed to fill. So we saw Tommy helping him with his money troubles and also watching him and Kate back in 85 in Miriam Egan's house, which is a house that turned out to be full of history, lies and secrets, and also one where we learned about D-Mac being JP's son. But in episode 3 in their grandma's house, we saw JP found how they used to scribble their heights back in the day, which told them that they were never there at the same time, something which we're gonna later question because of how JP found this, which is a picture of him with Tommy in the background. But here's where Tommy questioned who's paying for Miriam Egan's nursing home fees, because nursing home fees ain't cheap. But because Tommy suffered so much heartbreak and lies in the past, he was done with his life in New York, and this is why he shut down JP at every single turn when he brings up Cade. But it was hard to talk to Herman without bringing up Cade, because Herman knew how much of a pathological liar she was, and he wanted to know how fucked up Tommy was because he was raised by Kay Egan, and he knows that Tommy can't be all candy canes and sugar cones, and he's right in his judgement, because Tommy's the complete polar opposite. But Herman revealed that JP was a kid who always used to look at other kids in the playground with their mothers, and he had a huge gaping hole in his life. But this is where we learned about a similarity between JP and Tommy, because they'd been lied to by Kate and Herman for their entire lives. But where Herman was trying to protect JP and raise him the best he could, the same couldn't be said about Kate. But it is important to remember, we need to hear Kate's side of the story, but we definitely know where Herman and Tommy stand on Kate Egan. He asked me what kind of mother would leave her child. I told him no mother worth a shit. And that's Kate. But coming to the halfway point of the season, we saw JP taking a picture of Kate and finding these old images where he found Tommy in the background of one of his, which definitely paints a different timeline to the one they thought of before but not something that he's raised with Tommy, because he can only tell him what he knows, and that's his side of the story, about who he is, and he told him that he's a drug dealer, which Tommy was reluctant to let JP in on, at first anyway, because he knows the consequences of this game, and he doesn't want anything bad happening to JP, especially under his watch, because I don't think he'd ever forgive himself, if he ended up dying, or in jail, because of Tommy's game. But this conversation revealed more about why Tommy feels so hurt and betrayed by Kate and it's because she chose to love Ghost more than him. So, as we move into episode 8, we saw Tommy accepting JP into the game, but doing his best to keep him far away from the street side of things, by putting him into work in the lab cooking instead. But Miriam Egan dying was inevitable, because she wasn't doing so great from the beginning, and she was only going to get worse. And now that we've seen her death, this was the catalyst for JP to push Tommy into reaching out to Kate. But why would Tommy call Kate? Because as far as Kate was concerned, her mother was clearly dead in her eyes, which is what she told Tommy all those years ago. So with Tommy not calling Kate, JP knew it was down to him to call Kate, where he introduced himself, and no doubt tell her of Miriam Egan's passing. But one of the questions we need answering is, who was her emergency contact at the hospital? And I do think it was Kate Egan, because where else would JP have got her number from? 
because you can be sure Tommy definitely wouldn't have given him Kate's number. But the face that Kate made was one of disbelief because she knew exactly who was on the other line and that was JP Gibbs. So as we move into the last two episodes of the season, I'm sure we're gonna see Grandma Miriam Egan's funeral where JP and Tommy will be there. But now I'm dead certain that Kate will show her face in Chicago and it's just a matter of whether JP reveals to Tommy that he's reached out to her or whether it's gonna be a surprise. But this family reunion is where JP gets all his answers as well as Tommy if he cares to listen that is because as much of a pathological liar Kate is, there is just no way she can lie her way out of this one. But what questions do we need answering exactly? Maybe confirmation that Kate was the emergency contact at the hospital because I'm still thinking secrets could run deeper and whether the Flynn family have anything to do with Kate's past because we all know how Walter Flynn is a racist. So is this why Kate Egan left Chicago, leaving JP behind? I'm sure that's another question that JP will be asking. What kind of mother leaves her son? Or was she forced to leave? Because as I mentioned before, we really do need to hear Kate's side of the story. But also, Tommy was there at the same time as JP. So how does the timeline match up? Again, something only K Egan can answer. But one of the biggest questions I want to know the answers to is, what does JP stand for? Because I raised this point last week, because it definitely sounds way too similar to James St. Patrick. And ironically, St. Patrick is also an Irish name. So coming full circle with how JP questioned Tommy, are there any more of them? Could we really find out anything to do with Ghost Mom? Because in Power, they made reference to his father. And we also saw Uncle Gabe, but there was hardly any mention of Ghost Mom. So let's see if there is anything more to this JP and James St. Patrick. But one question I'm sure Tommy will want answering is, why did she lie to him all those years, telling him that his grandma was dead? Was she scared that she may tell Tommy something that she didn't want him to know? And is she hiding any more secrets? That's the big one. For example, what happened to Tommy's grandfather? Because we've learned about Tony Teresi, Kate's lies, and Miriam Egan. But what about his grandfather? So there's all these secrets and histories that need to be revealed over episode 9 and 10. But while we're on the topic of family, we can't forget about D-Mac. Because Tommy finally realized this is his nephew and it also makes him Kate's grandson. So this family reunion doesn't just involve Kate, JP and Tommy. There's also the D-Mac side of things which I'm sure will start to play out over episode 9 and 10. As well as as we move into season 2, I'm sure he's gonna fill the void that Tariq kind of left in Tommy's life. Similar to how Tommy lost a brother in Ghost, but how he's now gained JP. The same could be said about Tariq and D-Mac. But drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this big family reunion with Kate Egan returning to power. Because it's not over yet, we needed to come to Chicago and definitely answer our questions. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section on everything Kay Egan, Gloria's tragic death, Liliana and the Flynn's. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 4 Force and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.